revelation, something unknown, a mystery that was hidden, that is made known, a secret revealed, a prophetic word, revelation of God's holy word. Hello everyone. Welcome to Revelation Channel. Hi and everyone. We just want to tell everyone thank you for uh, uh, viewing and for subscribing. Yes. And uh, thank you very much. My name's Brian, and this is Indai. And we're so thankful. Um, our last video, lots of people are watching. Lots of people are commenting, uh, subscribing. So keep God, on, keep, keep on watching. Yeah, God's Continue. really uh, blessing this ministry, so uh, we're so thankful. And uh, tonight uh, we have a new song. It's called "Overwhelmed with Your Love," and it was uh, written and composed by Indai. It's a really beautiful song. So another new song, and uh, hey Lord. Uh, yeah. so tonight's message is called "Tongues of Fire." Mm -hmm. And this is a message that uh, when we were in prayer, God uh, was talking about and he, he was showing um, Indai and he's telling me at the same time. Yeah. So it's really confirmed. And so we just thank the Lord for everything and we give him all the glory and all the praise. Everything comes from him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So, uh, We'll go into the word now and uh, we'll go into Acts 1, chapter 1, verse 1 to 26. And you, you can turn the volume down on that. Huh? Okay, and we'll go to Acts. Okay, so here we go. Acts. One, okay, uh, the former Tristi, we have made the Theopolis of all Jesus began both to do and teach until the day he was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. And to whom he had showed himself alive after his passion to many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he saith, you have heard mention for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When therefore they were come together, asked him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, Not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power but you shall receive power okay after that the holy ghost is come upon you and shall be witnesses to both jerusalem and to all judea and samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth okay so when he had spoken these things while they beheld and was taken up a cloud received him out of their sight and while they were looking steadfastly toward heaven and went up, behold, two men stood in white apparel, two angels, and which said unto him, You men of Galilee, why you stand gazing up to heaven? The same Jesus which is taken up to, unto you from heaven shall come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So he's going to come back the same way. 
uh, then return they in, unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. And then they were come in and they went up into the upper room where they abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew and Philip and Thomas and Bartholomew, Matthew, James, and the son of Alphaeus, the Simon, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued in one accord, in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and were about a hundred and twenty Men and brethren, this scripture must needs be fulfilled. The Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spoke concerning Judas, was guide to them, but took Jesus, for he was numbered with us, but obtained no part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity. Falling headlong, he burst asunder in midst, and his bowels gushed out. And it was made known to all the dwellers in Jerusalem, insomuch that field is called in the proper tongue, Al-Kadama, to say, the field of blood. Okay, that's where Judas was uh, buried. For it was written, the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, let no man dwell therein, and let his bishop take another, another take. So wherefore these men have accompanied with us from that time Lord Jesus went on and out among us from beginning to the baptism of John until that same day he was taken up from us must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection so they're talking about ordination okay and they appointed two Joseph called Barabbas Barsabbas I mean who named, who surnamed Justice, and Matthias, and they prayed, and the Lord, which knoweth the hearts of all men, show whether these two, he had chosen, and he take part in the ministry and apostleship from Judas' transgression fell, that might go to his own place, and they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles, and here's chapter two. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were with one accord in one place. Okay. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, a rushing mighty wind fulfilled all of the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire and sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling in Jerusalem and the Jew Jews, devout men of every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because every man heard them speak his own language. And they were amazed and marveled, saying to another, Behold, are not all these which speak are Galileans? How hear we every man our own tongue wherein we were born? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, uh, dwellers, Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya, and Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, and Jews, and proselytes, Cretes, and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongue the wonderful works of God. And they were amazed and they were in doubt, saying to one another, What meaneth this? Others mocking say, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said, You men of Judea and all of you who dwell in Jerusalem, be this to you known unto you. And hearken unto my words, for these are not drunken, as you suppose, seeing it is the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. 
And it came to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days my spirit. They shall prophesy and show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath and blood and fire and vapor and smoke. And the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles, wonder signs, and God did by him the midst as, as you yourselves know, that being delivered by the determinate counsel for knowledge of God, you have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, which God raised up being loosed by the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. So, so they're, they're in the upper room and the Holy Ghost came down mm -hmm. and it sounded like a, a mighty rushing wind coming down. And there appeared uh, a likeness of fire over the top of every one of them. Yeah. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. That's what God's promise when Jesus went back to heaven. He mm -hmm. told his disciples to wait until they will be endured with power. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, uh, when I first got saved, I didn't know anything about the Holy Spirit. I I knew very little about the Bible. And uh, so, you know, I studied the Bible for years and years. And then when I came up to Alaska, uh, a friend of mine from church said, would you like to be baptized with the Holy Spirit? And I was like, oh, it, that sounds nice. But I said, I don't know what it is. And then, uh, well, he said, well, the Holy Spirit's going to come in and you're going to speak in tongues. And I said, oh, okay. And I had no idea what it was all about. So, so I received the Holy Spirit and I started speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. And, and then, uh, power comes because the Holy Spirit is dwelling in you. And that's what we all need. And I understand it now, of course, but before, uh, when I was just saved, I had no idea what the Holy Spirit it's, it's it was. It's important to have that yep. um, baptism of the Holy Spirit because um, mm -hmm. as, as a Christian, um, it will give us some strength and then give us some, some power. So what it is, the enemy has uh, counterfeit. What the enemy does is if you if you're a follower of the enemy satan he will put demons into you yeah. he will possess you with demons okay and these are different spirits evil spirits and the person will be possessed and the and jesus went all around uh the sea of galilee to all these different places and in his ministry he rebuked these spirits and demons came out of people Okay, and he set people free of demons. But with the Holy Spirit, it's God's Spirit. It's God's beautiful Holy Spirit. And and the Holy Spirit comes in and, and dwells inside of you, okay? And it, it's a it's a wonderful experience. And uh mm -hmm. oh okay, so let's go to uh let's go to Joel uh chapter twelve. Verse 23. Okay, Joel. Oh, Joel chapter 2, I mean, there's no 12. Okay, so 2, 23, and there it is. Uh, be glad... Then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause them to come down for the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in their month. 
and the floors shall be full of wheat. This is something that, that God showed me in a vision that he wants to bring all the wheat in. Okay, the floor shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow mm -hmm. with wine and oil. Did you know in harvest time, um, and a lot of a lot of people who do farming and and work with uh, like rice or wheat yeah. or grains, they understand that harvest time is a time of blessing. It's a time to bring in all your grain or your rice or your wheat and bring it in and clean all the chaff off mm -hmm. and 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 then bag up. You know, after you do all of your hard labors, you bag it up and you take it to market and you sell it, yeah. you know, and a lot of times you'll put it in your barn and you'll store it before that. So, so, um, so it says, uh, the floor shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty. Mm. So God is, this is a blessing. Harvest time is blessing. And you know what it is? It's harvest time. Yeah, it is. This is a time of blessing. Mm -hmm. This is the time of promise. This is not only... This is not only in the natural, but the supernatural, the spiritual, that God has promised a, a harvest mm -hmm. for his people yes. and that we should partake in the harvest and that we will eat plenty. Okay. It's not a natural harvest, but it's a well, uh, spiritual, spiritual harvest. Souls. So, but you can, it, it's, it's more, it's, it's everything all together. That we, with God, it's it's all blessings together because in his kingdom, we do his kingdom work. He also blesses us in the natural realm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's read a little for it. He's talking about restoration too. He's going to do some restoration. So I believe this is a time of harvest. This is a time of restoration in the church. This is a time of restoration in your own life, okay? And and God is going to give you, uh, restore the years that have been taken away. Mm -hmm. Things things through your life that have been taken. Things that didn't, maybe you, you tried a business and it didn't work out. Or you, or, uh, you lost some money somehow. Or you mm -hmm. lost a property. Or something, something didn't quite turn out the way you wanted it to. God is going to restore those things. Mm -hmm. Maybe your ministry, you're looking at your ministry and you're wondering what's going on, Lord. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, you really, we work for the Lord and we don't know what's going to happen if we're, yeah. so right now is the time of promise. Right now is the time of blessing. God says, I want to restore what was taken. Okay. Yeah. What was eaten away. Okay. Uh, it says, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that have dealt wondrously with you. And all my people shall never be ashamed, okay? And you shall know that I am in the midst of you and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And they shall come, it shall come to pass after I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy your old men see here here's what uh is in acts this is the prophecy of joel yeah so joel was prophesying what was going to happen yeah. with uh pentecost yeah uh, so when the holy spirit is come the the sons the daughters yep young young uh, maidens yes. old men and women shall see visions and dreams Amen. Amen. so there's no there's no exemption like, there's no exemption oh, it's just for the old person no old. it's not right uh, no you, we can't believe them because they're young no no it's, it's for everyone it's the, it's the the prophecy that's been um fulfilled when the 120 are waiting for the the holy spirit to come to come down and they, they did experience it so so yeah. That's that's what I've been uh, telling Indai as I said.
there's so many prophets now. Now, a lot of people will say, well, yeah, there's a lot of false prophets. Well, yeah, there's always going to be false prophets. If they're not, uh, if they're not, um, you know, from the Bible, or you'll know, you will know, you'll know you'll right know. away. Yeah. Uh, it, it says, my people do not listen to a stranger. They only listen to the shepherd. Yeah. They only listen to the voice of the shepherd. If we have the Holy Spirit and then yeah, God, we know. You, discernment, you will discern. You yeah. will know right away. All you have to do, just ask Lord, uh, what's going on with this person, yeah. you know, but um, there's what I'm saying is. Sons and daughters of God, the remnant, the true believers, the ones that are in love with Jesus and are waiting and their blessed hope is in Jesus. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. so right now is the season where God is pouring out. Now, you got to you got to seek him. You got to go into prayer. But God, God wants to pour out over abundance on you. He wants he wants you to. He wants you to hear what he's saying because he has a plan and a purpose. So let's let's continue. He said, uh, so also upon my servants and upon my handmaids in those days I will pour out my spirit and I will show wonders in heavens yes. and in the earth, mm -hmm. blood, fire, and pillars of smoke. And then the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And we've seen... We've seen blood moons and all that. And the tribulation, the day of the Lord, is not yet come. We're, we're going into the days of harvest. When we're done with our job that God has for us, our ministry, and we all have, we're all one body doing all these different things, but really we're all doing the same thing. We're doing the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then when that's done, God's going to call us home and we're going to go be with Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, uh, Psalm 145. Mm -hmm. Psalm 145. Okay. And David's Psalm of praise. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day I will bless thee. I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Of his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare his mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor, thy majesty of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of thy might and thy terrible acts. And I will declare the greatness of and they shall be abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and they shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious, full of compassion, and slow to anger, and great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. Mm -hmm. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord. All thy saints shall bless thee, and they shall speak the glory of thy kingdom, and talk of thy power." And make known the sons of men his mighty acts into the glorious majesty of his kingdom. The kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and of thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raise up all those that bow down. The eyes of all that wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. So here it talks about due season. We're in due season. We're in the time of blessing. We're in the time of harvest. Okay. And uh, thou openest thy hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Mm -hmm. See, he knows the desires of your heart. And and we're, we're, we're not to, uh, you know, shyly come up to the Lord. We're to boldly come up to him and, Lord, you know already what the desires of my heart are, okay? I want to, you know, for me, I, I go to the Lord and I say, well, I want to I wanna speak your word. I want to I wanna glorify you, God. I want to be used by you, Lord, to glorify you, Lord. Lord, and, and when, when you put the kingdom of God first, he pours out his blessing. It just, it comes, it comes comes hand in hand when you put the kingdom first 
He adds all the things uh, along with it. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. He will hear them cry and save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. The mouth, My mouth shall speak of the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. So when we, when we ask, we receive when we cry out the the lord hears us and mm -hmm. he he answers it's his his desire to uh to bless us okay so yeah so um when when they had the holy spirit when the disciples have those mm -hmm. they uh, they went out witnessing with boldness amen so amen to, to everyone or the churches, yeah. we need the Holy Spirit because without the Holy Spirit, we are powerless, and it's easy for the for the devil to just come and you know give you lots of things that will discourage you. Amen. But with the Holy Spirit within you, you will have power. So yeah. it says it says in the word that God has a great army. He has the body of Christ. Yeah. Okay, the body of Christ is God's great army. Okay, but every army has to have marching orders, mm -hmm. and we have to go to God. For us to have a message, I don't want to do a message that I just make up. I want to go to God in prayer, and I want to hear from Him what what he wants to talk about and when i do that i'm getting his marching orders and i'm going out and i'm doing exactly what he wants me to do and then yeah. that way i know i'm blessed yeah. because i'm doing i'm being obedient like jesus mm -hmm. and they they go with power amen yeah, go with god power. god will bless you i remember when we uh we do an evangelism and then kind of mm -hmm. you know to to tell someone about the love of god if you amen. don't have the power amen you 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 will be you know intimidated and yes lots yes. of stuff but with the holy ghost is mm -hmm. upon you yep you will have power amen and you will not be afraid to to that's share right. to share that's right the gospel oh the yeah love of god because yeah. the the love of God is flowing out of you, the compassion of God for that person. Yeah. Instead of seeing somebody that is your enemy or somebody that you don't know, a stranger, you then now you you feel the love that God has for that person, the compassion, the the value that that God places on every living thing. Yeah, uh, they're so precious to God. The 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 tongues of fire the this subject is pretty 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 long so yeah we're just giving you a, you a know, little taste a little taste of <laughs> what it is and you know we can read it more in corinthians about all the Amen. spiritual gifts and well stuff. the the main part of it is when they received tongues they started speaking in foreign yeah. languages and then they said oh what happened to them i thought they're all from <laughs> galilee galilee and why are they speaking uh uh Scythian yeah or Romans? or why is brian speaking in tagalog oh you know what or well, Cebuano? there's one there's one experience and we went to a group and then yeah. uh our brother in christ dave that he died and oh. then he, he spoke some uh you know uh Plink it, plink it. Yeah, yeah, that's plink right. Word, and then that's one right. of the one of the native Alaskans understand the yeah. language of this. Yeah, the Holy and Spirit came on Dave, and he started speaking a, a native tongue called clink it. Yeah. And you know, God can do whatever He wants. Yeah. But see, we all, all used to speak the same language until God confused it at the Tower of Babel. Now, what he did is he, he kind of, uh, Pentecost is when he brought us all back together in the body of Christ. 
and he gave us a heavenly tongue so we could speak to him. Plus, he also gives us, and it's up to him when he does it, the ability to speak to anybody necessary. Yeah. So if I'm speaking English and this guy speaks Italian, how am I going to speak to him the love of God? He can't understand. Mm -hmm. So God will give me Italian words to say he'll understand. Or maybe I'm not even speaking Italian. He's just hearing it Italian. Yeah. We don't know. That's the power of God. You know? Yeah, God can do whatever he wants. Yeah. So praise God. So we encourage you um, all, wh whoever watches, yep. that if you are not baptized with the Holy Spirit, oh, seek, get baptized. seek it and pray. And yeah. then the churches, we encourage you guys to yeah. keep the fire of the Holy Spirit yes. stay in the church because the yes. church... We need the power from on high. Amen. Without the power from God, oh, I don't know. <laughs> the devil's yeah. gonna beat us. And and the <laughs> one thing is when you speak in tongues in your heavenly language to the Father, you're edifying yourself. Yeah, let's Okay, you're building yourself up in the Holy Spirit. I remember the the old church because I used we we I grew up in a Christian family and mm -hmm. they have we called we have um I remember my papa and mommy, they said, oh, we got to go to a Terry, Terry meeting. He Terry. Called, Terry <laughs> meeting, yeah, they called that. Oh, wow. And then later on, I said, what is, we, we, we went when we were kids and we went there and then we watched them. We watched uh, mm -hmm. all them. They're so full of the Holy Ghost. And yeah. they're, they're just uh, crying and speaking in tongues. And crying, we, When we were laughing. kids, we don't really understand it. Yeah. And then when I'm in my, you know, high school you, days and then... It was changed to, uh, we usually do it in the Philippines, mm -hmm. like a um, prayer night over meeting. And I was really, really excited to have that baptism. And then yep. I was really want it. Ah. And then we always, our pastor always encouraged, you know, to, to be baptized. And he she, uh, they will preach about baptism in the Holy Spirit. And then we went there and they prayed over us. And then ah. I got it. And then... I yep. got it, I think, twice. The first time is I just, you know, speaking some stammering. Yeah. You know, like your tongue is kind of twisted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then later on, I, I said, oh, I, I, I was not yet baptized. And yep. then the next time, the next um, uh, prayer meeting, I went again, and then I was baptized right away. And it was so wonderful. Yeah. It's a wonderful feeling that when you win the power of God, in, uh, yeah. you will experience it. Yeah. It's so wonderful. Yep. It's yeah. your it's your spirit is groaning, is crying out to God, yes. and we're speaking in a heavenly language. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe the enemy can understand what it is. Only only the it's Lord can. Language. And then there's someone, uh, some people have the gift of interpretation of tongues. You'll hear a really strong uh, person speak out tongues, and the Holy Spirit will be really strong. And then someone after yeah. them will have the... A, a gift of interpretation of tongues and will interpret exactly what that person said mm -hmm. and you have to have someone like because nobody can understand it without interpretation mm -hmm. so it's really up to god mm -hmm. and uh but i i think we should probably uh pray yeah okay so let's let's pray we just pray that uh, uh god will bless you and God will bless your ministry, and God will build you up in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We just thank you, Lord, right yes, now. Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, we know that uh, a lot of people watching are in ministry, or pastors, evangelists, thank prophets, you, Lord. Lord, different different ones. Even some people, they don't even know their, their calling yet, but, but yes. God is showing them, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will just open up everything to them, Lord. Open up the dreams that you have for them, Lord, the visions you have for them, Lord. Open up, Thank you, Lord, that your voice will be clear to them. They will hear, Lord, what their marching orders, what you want them to do, Lord, that you have a wonderful plan for them, Lord Jesus. You, you have Jesus. A, a, lots of blessings and promises for them, Lord. Yes. We just we agree with that, Lord, that you will... Uh, bring that out, Lord, that you will reveal that to them, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you, Lord, that you're blessing our brothers and sisters, Lord, 
that you're pouring out your Holy Spirit on them, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Hallelujah. and that this is a harvest time, Lord, thank and you, we Lord. just thank you for all the the laborers, Lord, for the harvest, Lord, Hallelujah. that, Lord, we're going into a new season, a new era, Lord, that things are changing, Lord, that you're breaking down the old, Lord, and, you, Lord and you're Jesus. you're putting in the new, Lord. We just thank you that you pour out your blessings on yes. your people. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. This song is called Overwhelmed With Your Love. Yes. And uh, what it was is uh, we were praying one day, and God was so powerful, so strong, and, and I felt God's love so much. Uh, she thought some words and put some lyric to it mm -hmm. and uh, came up with the song. So we hope you enjoy it. message um, a salvation message and it's called blessing and repenting so a lot of people think as soon as you say repent uh, people think oh oh no not not repent well it's good to repent um, God repents himself sometimes he'll he'll say a judgment and he'll repent from his own judgment mm -hmm. so if God can repent I think think we can repent too so we, we we have to in fact if you don't repent your sins won't be blotted out you can't become a, a, a believer 
You can't become saved unless you repent. So repent is a good word. Yes. And yes. actually, it says, I, I want to teach this to believers, but also to unbelievers that might become saved through this word. Uh, the reason I say that is because in Acts 3.17, it says, And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance you did as did also your rulers, but those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. So the Messiah is talking about the Messiah. Uh, Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So, we always hear this expression in, in Christian talk, the times of refreshing. Well, when do the times of refreshing come? When there's repentance. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I first came to Christ, I repented. I, I, I wept and I, I knew that I had sinned. And, and, and it, it says there's no salvation without repentance. And that's completely true. Now, when does refreshing come? When you repent, okay? Mm -hmm. And God wants us all always to come to him and say, Lord, uh, our, his daily prayer, it says, uh, how does the daily prayer go, hon? Um, our Father, our Father which, has been, which, which art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom your come. Will done, your will be done. That is in heaven. And Give us this day Dear, our daily, daily bread, bread and forgive, forgive a, uh, us our trespasses. Trespasses. Yeah, as we forgive those that so, trespass against so, us. So, and this is what Jesus told the disciples, which would be a daily prayer. Mm -hmm. So, so when we come to Christ, we repent, but that doesn't mean we we stop repenting. We, we continually repent. We continually ask for forgiveness from the Lord. There's stuff that we do that there's like secret sin or secret. Yeah. We need to repent all the time. We need to stay clean. We need to keep our garments white and pure, okay, without spot or blemish or wrinkle. Yeah. And, and that's why Christ told his disciples, you come to me daily and, and, and ask f for me to forgive your trespasses. Also, we, we forgive our enemies of trespasses. I'm telling you, the biggest thing as a Christian I, I learned is how to forgive my enemies. Yeah. Okay, if you don't forgive, if you don't forgive other people, of what they do to you or or even what's sometimes they don't even really do what you perceive at the time they just you get emotional about something someone did and they didn't really mean it that way yeah. but you took it that way and now you're offended or upset at them you you can't leave anything in your heart you have to keep it keep it clean so so when when we come to God and we repent we ask for forgiveness we're cleaning the slate, okay? That means times of refreshing can come in, okay? That means the Holy Spirit will uh, do a download of, of the, the Holy Spirit will bring in the times of refreshing. It's really wonderful, okay? Now, for the unbeliever, say, you know, you, you, you thought about God, but you've never received salvation, Jesus Christ died on the cross that you might be saved. It says that anyone who believes in the name of Jesus shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Okay. But without repentance, there is no salvation. So you have to repent. What does repent mean? It means turn from your sins. Okay. Yeah. Turn and go the other way. Well, how do you turn and go the other way? You give your sin to Christ who died on the cross to carry to carry your sin on the cross so you give it to Christ 
and you turn and you walk away from your sin and it's it's a done deal so but you have to believe that christ did that you have to believe that he's the son of god and god god will wash your sins away and they'll be they'll be forgotten mm -hmm. so so let's go into uh uh joel 2 11, 14. okay joel joel 2 11. now what's what's in joel let's see if i can find it okay joel and uh 2 11. so and the lord shall utter his voice before his army of his camp is very great for he is strong that executeth word and the day of the lord is great and very terrible who can abide it therefore also saith the lord turn to me even with all your heart and with fasting and weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments turn unto the lord your god for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and with great kindness and repenteth him not of the evil who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him even a meat offering and drink offering unto the lord your god so so there's what god is saying is there's a blessing in repentance there's there's a a time of refreshing yes. And there's a time of blessing when you repent. So, uh, I, you know, people say repent like it's not a good word. It's a great word. Without repentance, we're not saved. Without being saved, we can't go to heaven. Yes. We can't have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And when we do repent, there's an automatic blessing. So, this is a wonderful thing. And for unbelievers... You become part of the family of God, so so let's just uh, uh, yeah. let's do a a, a salvation to prayer. Them, to them that will accept, uh, to them that believe, yes. Jesus will not reject. So that's right. Yeah. Do the do the prayer, hon. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you didn't know Jesus right now, Amen. Uh, pray after me. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That you died on the cross you for me. Died on the cross for me. Forgive me from all my sins. Forgive me for all of my sins. And cleanse me. And cleanse me. I will accept you. I will accept as you. As my Lord and my Savior. As my Lord and my Savior. And I want you. And I want you to be the God of my life. To be the God of my life. From this day. From this day. On. On. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Angels in heaven will rejoice with Amen. one, one, someone, one that will repent. And if you've accepted Christ into your heart, and you repent of your sins. And you receive Christ, find a good church that believes in the Bible, believes in Jesus as the Messiah and the living God, mm -hmm. and they they can help you along the way. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you. And um, we we see you next week. <laughs> and we will... Before we end up this video, mm. we will say <laughs> hi to all. And yeah, yeah. Greetings. Yeah. Shout out. Uh huh. Yeah. First to, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hi, hello to my nephew. Yeah. Jordan, Jordan, and Cyril, Hinita. Oh, how are you guys doing? Hello, and to BJ. Oh, BJ, and BJ Hinita, and uh -huh. to my cousin, yeah, Perla Carnisi, and Shirley, and Richard uh -huh. Boyamban. 
How are you guys? Shirley. Hi Lee, how are you? Yeah, and Richard. And, oh, happy birthday to... Happy birthday! Arlene, my, yeah. my grade school best friend, Arlene Silas. Yeah, it's... Hi Lynn, happy birthday Lynn, it's our birthday. Yeah, it's Today, uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, right now, it's 7 in the Philippines. Yeah, us, already. Yeah. So your birthday is already... 9, 10, 11, 12. Three more, three more hours. <laughs> and it's my birthday. Okay. And, and you're 24. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to... Happy birthday to brother boy, Lucy. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. And then... Congratulations. Um... Uh... To my ka another cousin, Bilin Gahonog Parahis. Yes. And hi to Pastor Rodney and family, Rodney Ruelos and family. Hi. God bless. Hi, Rod. How are you doing? <laughs> and to Pastor Joni and Marlene Asoy oh, and family. Yes. God bless. And then to the Assemblies of God Church in Tambungan. Oh. I don't know the, the name, but they are the Assemblies of God. Hi, Pastor. God bless that Pastor church. Pastor Ryan. Yep. Us, uh, nice chatting you the other yep. week. Yeah. And hi to all the members there. I have lots yeah. of friends there. To the Raimondi family, to Lucica family, and Amen. Luzano family, and Piscos family, and lots that I can't remember all of them, but yeah. hi to you guys there. God bless. And Assemblies of God. And to my cousin Miriam Renoblas. Hi, me. Hi, Thanks me. for all your greetings, and guys, on my yep. birthday. And to our subscribers. Thank yes. you very much for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. And to Jara Jane, my yeah, niece. Yeah, Jara Jane. And to Jara. Yeah. And to Jason Kagas. Hi to you guys. Jason. And to my high school classmate, Pastor Afe Tagun. Yeah. And to uh, Joel Villaver and family. Hi, Will. I know it's election time. <laughs> I know you're going to Busy, go. busy. <laughs> Hi there. I hope you're watching this video. Yeah. And God bless all, your family. To all the viewers, thank you very much. And uh, keep, keep on watching. And yep. we, we, we pray. We we. We thank you very much, and we yep. keep you guys in our prayers. That's and, right. Um, God bless everyone. Yeah, and to those in the Philippines, your election is coming, so yep. we pray that you guys can have a peaceful election yep. and whatever God chooses for the country. Yes, just walk in love. Yeah. Yeah. And God bless everyone, and to all our friends here yep. in Juno, Alaska. Yeah. Um, Brian and I Karen, you guys. Brian Rotola, Carol Rotola, Karen, yeah, yeah and, the women's group, yeah, yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless you guys. God bless. Thank bye you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.